hello guys and now in this particular video we will see how we can create the docker file for the ubuntu image okay so basically we will be using all this command which you are able to see on my screen like from run copy bug dr cmd okay so basically we will be using some of the commands from that and we will create one ubuntu image okay from the docker file as we have already saw in previous video in the python we have done it so same thing which we have to do in this as well so what we will do we will be just creating one uh, directory with the name ubuntu image and inside that let's create the file uh, docker file the name should be only like this and then what you have to do uh, you will just uh, use this one from okay and then what you have to do you have to just write the image name as the ubuntu and then what you have to do uh, we will use run command in this actually and we will update the image okay whenever the image will be created it will update it okay our ubuntu will be updated and then we will uh, be using cmd and then we will write some command like we can write who am i it will tell us uh, the who is the current user the name of the user okay so now what we will be doing uh, i'm already in this directory and we can do like this like docker build hyphen t you can provide any tag name it's all depend upon you ubuntu app and then we will use dot and it will start okay so now it's done i think a vpt update also didn't take much time okay it takes usually okay fine uh let me just clear the screen open up the cmd okay you can do anywhere uh, you can do on this terminal as well but i prefer doing on this so if you will do docker images and here you will see ubuntu app so this image has been created uh i guess uh, let me just check what was the image name yeah ubuntu app is the image name actually okay so now what we'll be doing uh we will just run this image docker run and we'll provide some name as the my first ubuntu okay and we will give it the uh, image name that is ubuntu app yeah so here you can see the root so it is giving us the result root okay so uh like the command has been executed so which command has been executed uh this who am i if you will check in the containers so here you will see the command who am i and the image is ubuntu app and the name is my first ubuntu okay so uh now let's just uh change the command you can do any command like uh Suppose if I do some comma and write some another command, what will happen? Let's check. It will just give us error because it will execute uh, in a single command line, I guess. So it will give us error. So instead of that, uh, we can try like this pwd only. Okay. And we will create with the name one to app two. Okay. So it's done again. Open up the terminal and if we'll clear the screen and uh, let's check for Docker images. Okay, Ubuntu app 2 is there. If you will do a uh, Docker run uh, hyphen hyphen name, same name, let's give same name Ubuntu 2 and the uh, okay. So now let's hit enter. So here you will see the present working diary is the root diary. The forward slash means it's in root directory actually. Okay. So uh, that's it for today's videos guys. I hope you liked it and you got it. How you can create the uh, Docker file for the Ubuntu image. Okay. It's simple. Okay. So that's it for today and we'll meet you in the next video. Thank you for watching.